Olympics. If you guys recall last week, we covered how Canada has been posturing themselves strongly against Putin and Russia. And, um, you know, there was a threat of a cyber attack by the Russians that was going to happen. And apparently it, it, it did. I, I haven't seen this yet. So this is going to be news to me, whatever they say here. But based, based, we love our Russians, don't we, folks? Russians, truckers, groipers. That's who's going to save the country. It's going to save the country. So let's hop into this here. I'm curious as to what they're going to say on global news, by the way. Out. It is on the agenda of a virtual cabinet retreat the Prime Minister is hosting. At the same time, government sources tell Global News there's been a cyber attack on the Federal Department of Global Affairs, and Russia is suspected of being behind it. Our Ottawa Bureau Chief Mercedes Stevenson has more information on that. Mercedes. Donna, the attack began on Friday, but Canadian security agencies are still actively dealing with the fallout as we speak tonight. Sources are describing the multi-day disruption as substantial, and both government and security sources tell Global News Russia or Russian-based hackers are believed to be behind it. The cyber attack comes after the Canadi a Canadian intelligence agency warned of an impending Russian attack or attacks last week. Sources believe the cyber attack is in retaliation for Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie's trip to Ukraine and a Canadian promise of 120 million dollar loan to Let's Kiev. Go. It's unclear how Let's much damage go. the attack may have caused or whether any information was compromised or stolen. Sources say the government expects more potential attacks in the future. And Mercedes, is there any news today on what Canada is prepared to do to support Ukraine and our NATO allies, both militarily and diplomatically? Well, Donna, the Ukrainian government has asked Canada for weapons and more troops. Right now, there are about for weapons, by the way, $129 million we're sending over to Ukraine to fight against Russia. And we expect Russia just to be like, yeah, that's fine. We're, we're, li we're literally funding the Ukrainians against Russia, giving them weapons, giving them resources. And what, Russia's just supposed to be like, yeah, go ahead. No, of course they're going to retaliate. <laughs> of course they're going to retaliate. Right? So, like, it's just fucking silly. It's absolutely silly. About 200 Canadians on a training mission in Ukraine known as Operation Unifier. Sources tell Global News that the Canadian government is likely to approve a request for weapons and that is in front of Cabinet right now. If Cabinet agrees to that, the Canadian Armed Forces will deliver small arms and ammunition. That means pistols, rifles, machine guns, sniper rifles, and all the bullets and optics that would go along with them. The Canadian military has already started moving those stocks into position if Cabinet does approve them. But to be clear, this is not a massive amount of weapons we're talking about. We're talking about hundreds, not thousands of guns. This is what the Prime Minister had to say about the government's support for Ukraine. Uh, we will continue uh, to work closely with the government of Ukraine to uh, ensure they get the support they need. Uh, and I'm sure there will be more announcements to come. The Prime Minister is expected to make an announcement on Wednesday. We'll find out what that is. The government is trying to send a strong message to Russia without antagonizing them. And nothing, of course, will be done, Donna, without coordination of our allies. Through our allies, okay, they're all globalists. I hope that Russia BTFOs NATO. And quite honestly, even if this was Russia, which it might not even be Russia, this could just be propaganda, right? If it was Russia, if they're, you know, cyber attacking Canada, then sure. It's based. It's based. There's nothing else to say. O7s for the Russians. Come and liberate us from our globalist establishment. Well, I mean, I guess that they won't have to come and liberate us because we are going to liberate ourselves on Saturday with the truckers. But still, but still. I'm Team Russia. I'm Team Russia here. I'm Team Russia. Omega King Pain Boo says, I wonder how many Ukrainians actually care about this shit. 
the vast majority of Ukrainians like Russia. There's lots of Russians in Ukraine that support Russia. It's literally just like the globo homo Ukrainians that want to remain a NATO satellite state. It's all gay. It's all gay. So there's that. That's kind of interesting.